Look at my lazy boy, Cooper. Hey guys, welcome back to uh, my channel. And today, just because it is Christmas soon, I thought I would do a um, hamster treat video. Uh, if you're wondering, this is not my normal kitchen. And so if you're uh, wondering like, if this is what my kitchen looks like, this is not what my kitchen looks like. But anyways, I am going to be doing a hamster treat video. Uh, this is based on um, Victoria Rachel's latest video, which um, I will be uh, copying most of the recipe just because I am really bad at making up my own recipes. Um, but I'm going to just tweak it a little bit so that hopefully if all goes well, uh, there can be a string that we can string it so we can hang it from the top of the hamster cage. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, fun video and also Merry Christmas. I'm probably not going to be uploading a video until after Christmas. So uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. So the quality of this video is probably not going to be the greatest because I am in uh, the cake kitchen. So um, I just want to do that as like a disclaimer if uh, this is not the quality my normal videos are in, but yeah, that's what we have to live with for today. So, so the first thing I'm going to be putting in is one tablespoon of, um, this is pumpkin seeds mixed with, uh, I forgot what this is, but uh, this is lentils, I think is what it's called, green lentils. Um, I might be wrong, I will put it up on the screen, but uh, this is what we are going to add. One tablespoon of this for starters. Here, here's what it looks like. I don't know if it'll focus, but that goes in first. The next thing I'm going to add is some uh, lug beans in here. One tablespoon of lug beans. Then next we have yellow peas, I think is what it's called. And here is the yellow peas. Add in. I'm going to try this angle instead because um, you guys probably want to see my face and I also don't want my tripod to fall off the table. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do it like this now. And then last we are going to add in our steel cut um, steel cut oats. So here is the steel cut, uh, steel cut oats. And then we're just going to mix this together now. So yeah, I'm going to use this tablespoon because I mean it's here. So here we go. Now that is all mixed in. And now we are going to add the flour. So I am using all-purpose flour, but um, I would say the best option would be uh, some sort of buckwheat flour. But um, I don't have buckwheat flour, so I'm going to use all-purpose flour and just give it to my hamsters um, less often than I would if it was uh, buckwheat flour. So um, I'm going to be adding two and a half tablespoons of that just because I added a bit more seeds than um, Victoria Rachel did in her video. So uh, yeah, that is what I'm going to do right now. Okay, I just got flour everywhere. This doesn't look like half, but trust me, it is half, so there we go. All oh, my hands are covered in flour now. Now I'm going to mix the flour in with the seeds. Here, I'm gonna add just a bit more of the mug beans. Just to make it more mug beany. No, <laughs> this doesn't sound good, okay. There we go. Now that is what I have now, just flour and seeds, because that is what the step rat has, so. And then I'm gonna add uh, two tablespoons of water now. 
and then if it's not in the consistency I want it, then I can uh, add more water or add more flour, depending. So, uh, yeah, that is what I'm gonna do. So I don't want this to spill. Water all over the table. Okay, that's fun. Now I'm going to take like an actual mixing uh, spoon. Well, just not a mixing spoon. This is just a normal spoon. I just don't want it to get stuck onto the other um, thing. But. Um, here is my finished dough. It doesn't look that appetizing, but it will when we're done. So, <laughs> yeah. So the mold I am going to be using today is a really cute star, uh, star mold, mostly because this is one of the only molds that we have. So you're going to need the star mold and then you are going to need some toothpicks. Here we go. So I have some uh, toothpicks in this jar. And we are now going to take the dough and put it into our mold. So now I have my whole mold um, filled up. I'm only doing the bigger stars because the other stars are pretty small. So I'm just gonna do the uh, middle stars and then I'm going to take a toothpick and I'm gonna snap it in half. And I'm going to Put it at the top of the star and then twirl it around a bit just to create a hole in each of the um, in each of the stars. And when you are done putting um, the toothpick into the star here, I can just show you this one. Um, you are going to leave the toothpick there so that the hole doesn't uh, fill itself back up. Okay, so now I am done putting the uh, putting the toothpicks in um, each of the stars, and now we are going to put it in the fridge until it is hard. Um, at the uh, after this clip, I'm going to tell you how long they were in the fridge because I don't really know how long they're going to be in the fridge for. But uh, when they are done, I will continue this video. So after waiting one and a half hours with. Uh, these molds in the fridge um, they weren't working so I'm going to try to um, put them in the oven uh, and let's all hope it works and I will be sure to put in the description of this of this video a more uh, like a more um, descriptive uh, like of what I'm doing but basically they spent an hour and a half in the fridge and did nothing. So I'm going to put them in the oven now, I guess, uh, until they are hard, so. So I baked them until they are nice and um, nice and hard. And now we need to take the toothpicks out so that it will look like this. Here. Yeah, I'm going to just do that quickly. So you can see the, um, you can see the little hole in the treat and now we are going to uh, string them on with the string. Now, normally you would be using um, a sisal string or something similar uh, to um, keep it up in your cage, but I don't have any sisal string, so I'm going to be using some ribbon. Now, ribbon is not recommended to leave in your hamster's cage um, for long periods of time, as you don't want them to uh, ingest it or anything like that. So I am just going to be stringing it with ribbon into the hamster cages um, and then I'm going to uh, do surveillance on them while they eat it 
and then I'm probably going to take it off the ribbon and just leave it as a chew uh, on the bottom of the cage. So now we are going to string them. Okay, so I have strung the little star ornament and I think it looks pretty cute. And I am going to put these in the hamster cages after I string two more of these. So, yeah. Did I get? You're going to take it home. Oh, Mrs. Taking it home. Oh, yeah. Bye bye. If you want a behind the scenes photo of one of my sets for the hamsters, this is my latest set, and I will hopefully have some new photos coming up on my Instagram with uh, this set. So I'm excited to take some photos. So I hope you guys have enjoyed um, today's video. I know it was really, really poor quality and I am so sorry about that, but um, I hope you guys at least enjoyed it and uh, Merry Christmas and I will see you guys after Christmas. So uh, see you soon. This is harder than it looks. I am also sorry if the quality of this video is not um, the greatest, just because, uh, the camera is on an angle. This is why the quality of this video is not going to be the greatest. Okay. I think this is a good consistency. I'm sorry. I'm probably going to cut this whole part out, but. Oh no, I got flour all over my face. That's fine.